legalizing marijuana was supposed to eliminate the black market for pot. But we found dealers have come off the street corners and onto the internet, openly posing as legitimate delivery services. CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger tells us these services are not only against the law, but they can be dangerous. In just three hours, so you got some of the candies. We contacted three delivery services. Everything that we do is gourmet. And had marijuana products delivered all over town. The services claim to be perfectly legal because they ask for donations only from people who prove they're eligible to buy pot. But this CBS4 employee in the hoodie cool. appeared underage. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm new to it. I guess I don't know if I can smell it or something. Yeah, I have to get the money first, man. We did not buy, but had some questions. From uh, Channel 4, we're doing a story about marijuana delivery services. Is what you're doing legal? He wouldn't answer, but Jim oh, Gerhardt of the sir. Colorado Drug I, Investigators I, I, Association I, I, would. Is this legal? No. He says to legally sell marijuana, one must be licensed by the state. Giving it away for a donation doesn't pass the smell test. These are the games people are playing in order to get around what truly is the intent of the law. This ad was for marijuana-laced hard candies, at least 15 times beyond the legal potency limit. By text, we asked, they're strong, right? The reply, yes, we'll have a morbidly depressed person laughing on the floor. We met. So you make them, you're a chef? Yeah. But when I suddenly appeared to speak with him about his business, he took off in a hurry. He's in a competitive business. Craigslist is full of delivery ads. We found this service offers a full menu. We arranged to get together on the 16th Street Mall. And again, no ID was requested. That's why it's telling you people on Craigslist are shady. I know. Yeah. Everybody's been a little fearful. Anyway. The danger is real. In March, a 16-year-old girl and her dog were shot after arranging to buy hash in a parking lot from someone on the Internet and those operating the delivery services never know who they might run into. Hi there. Hey. I'm from uh, Channel 4 and we're doing a story on marijuana delivery services. Okay. Is this legal? Yes. Tell me how it's legal. Um, it's not marijuana, so... What do you have there? Candy. Uh, edibles? Nope. Oh, why are you walking away from me? Apparently business is brisk. No time to talk. He had to run. Rick Salinger, CBS 4 News.